The Goa State Chief Information Commissioner Motilal Kheni on Thursday ruled that the Goa Cricket Association is indeed coming under the ambit of the Right to Information Act. However, the Goa Cricket Association is of the opinion that the association does not come under the RTI Act as they are affiliated to the Board of Control for Cricket in India. Pronouncing his verdict on the complaint filed against Goa Cricket Association by Advocate Iris Rodriguez, the State Chief Information Commissioner has now directed the Goa Cricket Association to furnish the information sought by Advocate Rodriguez within 30 days. The State Chief Information Commissioner ruled that the government notification dated 8 July 2010 that all sports organizations and state sports associations recognized by the Sports Authority of Goa would be covered under the RTI Act was binding on the Goa Cricket Association. It may be noted that Advocate Rodriguez had filed a complaint against the Goa Cricket Association for its refusal to furnish information sought under the Right to Information Act regarding the fees paid to their advocate Subodh Kantak. The Goa Cricket Association, headed by Goa's former Law Minister Dayanand Narvekar, took a stand that it does not come under the purview of the RTI Act. Advocate Rodriguez on Thursday hailed the order of the State Information Commission as a victory for transparency and accountability. I had filed this complaint before the State Information Commission, which had heard our arguments in the matter, and I am happy that the order has been pronounced today that the Goa Cricket Association does come within the ambit of the RTI. It is a great victory for transparency and for accountability. Because one really wonders what the GCA was trying to hide by saying that it does not come within the Right to Information Act. I had also from the GFA sought details of the fees paid to Mr. Subodh Kantak as their lawyer. Mr. Subodh Kantak was the lawyer for the Goa Cricket Association. He was the lawyer also for the Goa Football Association where he has been paid thousands of rupees if not lakhs by way of fees. And all this information I have sought and my stand stands vindicated today that the State Information Commission has directed the Goa Cricket Association to furnish me the information and consequent to today's order of the State Information Commission, the Goa Football Association will also have to furnish me the information. Meanwhile, the GCA President Dayana Narvekar said that the association does not come under the RTI ambit as it was affiliated to the BCCI, adding that the BCCI funds them in their activities. SAG gave an order saying that GCA uh, comes under RTI. They should have waited and that is my grievance against Force Authority of Goa. I don't know uh, why they give uh, sometimes information. They could also ask Goa Cricket Association. This matter will be resolved somewhere in the upper court. Either way, if we uh, get the order in our favor, he may go in the high court. Or if order goes in against us, we may go uh, in the upper court. Because BCCI has given in writing that BCCI does not come under RTI. Because uh, if you see BCCI's contribution to Goa Cricket Association, it is more than 10 crore rupees a year. And we spend that money on SAG by giving them money. We never received one paisa from SAG.